In the spotlight, a new Chinese stealth fighter jet. At least that's what it appears to be. Welcome to this new sub extra. I'm Simon Constable. Joining me on the set, we've got Rebecca Blumenstein, foreign editor with the Wall Street Journal. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Of course. So it, this is what appears to be a new fighter jet. What do we know about it? Well, over the past few days, um, on, online on some defense-related sites, a picture of, uh, of, of China's uh, stealth fighter, um, one that's been rumored to be under development, have emerged. And what's interesting is that the, the, the fighter is kind of taxiing for takeoff. And this has um, uh, defense uh, experts really buzzing, and, and, and they view it really as one of the first authentic looks at, at how, how much progress the Chinese have been making. And this is part of uh, what's assumed to be a, a Chinese military buildup. Is, is that correct? Yeah, this is likely to, to heighten sensitivities about China's military buildup. Really, the U.S. is the only country that has an operational stealth fighter at this point. So if the Chinese were to succeed here, it could really alter the balance of power in Asia. Now, what do we know about this stealth fighter? I, I know that um, you know these things are kept very secret, by governments, and, and, and in fact, not a lot is known about our own stealth fighters. But what, what do we know about this one, or what do we almost know? Well, there's a lot that we don't know. It's probably several years from being operational. The Chinese are still believed to be behind the Russians, but but uh, it seems that it's taking off, and that that is a significant step for the Chinese. And and in, immediately, this could make it harder for the U.S. to defend Taiwan, for example, if the Chinese are making significant progress here. It also comes just as the Chinese Chinese are getting very serious about uh, 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 deploying an aircraft carrier, and so it's really going to just uh, rekindle concerns about China's military buildup. Now, just to to, to back up a bit, a stealth fighter is one that can, can fly without being picked up by radar because of the, the smooth right. surfaces. Is this expected to be um, better or equal to anything the U.S. has, or are we still way ahead? Well, it's interesting. This is actually coming out just a week before Defense Secretary Robert Gates is due to go to Beijing, so I'm sure this may be discussed there. The U.S. is coming out with a new version of its own stealth fighter, so I would expect that the U.S. will certainly be ahead of this in this race for a long time. But if the Chinese are even playing the game here, that's quite significant. Okay. So I guess this will be keeping people quite busy in the Pentagon and in the White House and with the Secretary of State as well, and, and, and the Secretary of Defense, too. I would imagine. I mean, it's important to say that we don't know exactly how much progress they've made, but these photos are and no one quite knows how they came out they haven't really been censored within China which is interesting within itself so so we know that Pentagon officials are looking at them and and, and analyzing them and taking them seriously and, and China has been flexing its muscles certainly with its with its Navy in the South China Sea with certain sort of b b territorial disputes in waters uh, is, is, is this in an inauspicious moment for sort of uh, peace within the, the Asia, Asia area Certainly. I mean, this has been a year where China has been growing increasingly aggressive. We've seen it in disputes with, mm. with uh, Japan and the South China Sea uh, on a number of fronts, uh, increasing uh, tensions with India. Um, and, and it's really prompting a, a realignment of much of Asia. So, so this kind of confirms people's, uh, people's uh, fears about a military buildup in China. Apparently. Maybe, maybe, maybe their worst fears. Perhaps. We'll I see. think we'll be talking with us about this for a, a long time uh, to come, maybe the next few months. Thank you very much, Rebecca Blumstein of, of The of Wall course. Street Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and this is The Wall Street Journal Digital Network. This, uh, kind of a stunning uh, revelation or apparent revelation in the media that the uh, Chinese have a uh, stealth fighter, at least uh, they have pictures of a stealth fighter. Brett Stevens, our Global View columnist, do they have a stealth fighter? Well, that's an important distinction, and uh, it's, worth, uh, it's worth raising. We've had photographs of what appears to be a stealth fighter taxiing at high speeds down a runway. We're told that it might actually take off uh, sometime later this week. It's probably not going to be fielded for um, another decade, but it does sort of provide a picture of a rising uh, Chinese military power, rising technological capabilities that are potentially capable of challenging us uh, uh, on their side of the Pacific. And uh, with this uh, fighter in particular, e even if it takes off, I would imagine, or, or, or maybe it would, the, the real test would be, is it invisible to our radar, to our, to our surveillance systems? Well, there, are we going to be able to tell, or is, are we going to rely on the China news agency or, or something whole, of that nature? We probably won't really understand this fighter until we get our hands on one you know but in the early 1970s when the MiG-25 Foxbat came out it sort of looked like an F-15 and a lot of people were saying boy the Soviets have really matched us technologically then a MiG-25 fighter defected to Japan we got our hands on one of these things and we realized it was basically a piece of junk with big engines this might also be a p piece of junk in this in the shape of one of our stealth fighters the avionics matter uh, the skin of the aircraft matters uh, the jet engines matter so um, that's really not 
you know, I, I'm, I'm less worried about this fighter than I am right. about the general direction of Chinese of the Chinese military, and particularly not so much their fielding uh, equipment that looks like ours, but fielding what they call you know asymmetrical type equipment that can threaten our carriers, our submarines, our assets deployed in the region. Well, I think this is a concern because you, you generally think of these sort of. Uh, uh, free democratic capitalist uh, versus communist uh, military uh, confrontations as being a, a technology from the capitalist countries mm -hmm. against sort of mass brute force numbers on the uh, on the communist side. That was certainly the Soviet model, but uh, now the Chinese, perhaps with their hybrid, where it has a thriving economy along with this regime, uh, they seem to have a technological edge in, in some areas, or at least they're competitive. Uh, well, they're missiles competitive are an in, example. They're competitive in, in being able to field potentially ship-killing, um, even aircraft-killing uh, ballistic missiles or high-speed or, or high uh, uh, cruise missiles. Uh, the U.S. Navy is very concerned about specifically about the Chinese missile threat. You'll remember about a year ago, this newspaper had a story about terabytes of data from our F-35 stealth program being stolen apparently by the uh, by the Chinese that might have had some effect on their ability to field this this fighter uh, much sooner than uh, or at least uh, construct this fighter much uh, much sooner than we had uh, anticipated I would expect that the technological edge still ultimately remains with the United States what China is doing is essentially a, 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 a copycat it's the same model that the Soviets were pursuing what we really need to be uh, concerned about is their ability to field large numbers of things like um, uh, satellite killing missiles uh, ship killing missiles very quiet diesel electric submarines that could make it difficult for us to defend say Taiwan um, or other areas in the South China seas uh, um, in the event of a crisis okay we'll keep watching that thanks Brett First it was a picture, now perhaps a video of what purports to be a Chinese military stealth fighter jet. Welcome to this News Hub Extra. I'm Simon Constable. Joining me on the set, we've got Adam Horvath. Um, we're going to look at this video now um, with what purports to be, we don't know that it is, but what purports to be a stealth fighter jet. Let's have a look at it and then to discuss what we're actually seeing. There it is. What is that? Well, that uh, purportedly is the Chinese stealth fighter that would compete with the U.S.'s F-22, which is the only fully operational stealth fighter in the world right now, and also the Russian T-50, which is being developed. Mm. And India and Russia just uh, signed a deal to develop a stealth fighter together. So China is uh, very quickly trying to join that very small group. And let's quickly back up and define what stealth fighter means. What, 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 what's stealthy? What, what's special right. about well, stealthy? Well, it's actually it's a fifth generation fighter. So stealth is one aspect of it, and that means that it's, that it's designed and specially coded and so forth to avoid radar detection. Mm. It also can uh, take off and land very short runways. Uh, theoretically, and it, uh, without uh, taking up too much fuel, can fly supersonically. Oh. Those three elements make up the, the fifth generation fighter. So, so fast, undetected by radar, and, and, can, and can land in, in very short spaces. And we're going to see that video again. Well, what is interesting to me when I, when I looked at, at, at that clip was that it's very angular compared to the U.S. Uh, stealth fighter, and the cockpit uh, looks smaller, which suggests that the, the plane is, in fact, much bigger than what is the U.S. stealth fighter. I don't know if it's bigger. Actually, they, they all do follow pretty much the same prototype mm. and there may be some reasons for that but uh, but uh, it, you know it's very similar actually to the F-22 it's very different from the stealth bomber which mm. people are maybe more familiar with which has that kind of like bat wing kind of mm. very smooth look to it but the fighters that have to be maneuverable they have to have those angular tail fins and so it's 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 fairly similar it's, it's fairly similar. maybe I was confusing it there with, with with the bomber now this is purportedly coming out of Chinese bloggers who uh, allegedly uh, surreptitiously shot this video it's shaky, um, but there is another theory. What's going on here? Well, we're not sure how surreptitious all this is yeah. because it seems that since uh, the Chinese uh, censors are not keeping this from getting out on the Internet, mm. and apparently there were even uh, military dignitaries visiting and getting their picture taken, that uh, perhaps uh, Beijing is ready for people to know that they have this plane. The timing is interesting because... And they're, and they're not known for sl slipshot security uh, in, in, in general, no, are they? No, they're known more for very tightly managing what comes out. And uh, so you can suspect 
suspect that's what's going on here, especially because uh, Robert Gates, the U.S. Defense Secretary, is arriving in Beijing on Sunday for talks about military cooperation. The military ties were cut over uh, arms sales to Taiwan mm -hmm. that, that, that gets China very angry, and so they're trying to put back together some talking about military cooperation, and that China would kind of say, hey, we've got this plane just as Gates is coming, make some sense, especially since Gates actually predicted they wouldn't have the plane for many more years and so cut the like U.S. funding. This is like yeah. a, sig a signaling event that, hey, look, look what we've got. Now, we haven't actually seen video of it flying. We've seen it taxiing along right. the runway there. Right. And so, I mean, who knows if it can fly. But you, so you said that you saw it with a parachute, which suggests that maybe it was... Uh, There's apparently some pictures with a parachute. Um, it may or may not have taken its first test flights, but it's, it's clearly that's imminent. Um, and the idea now, there seems to be consensus that it's probably ready to operate uh, if there aren't any uh, problems in the next uh, eight years or so. Which but, is relatively uh, quick. Yeah, I mean, the, the, they'll still be behind Russia, which is already test flying mm -hmm. its version. But again, it's a very small group. And the U.S. had predicted, you know, 10 to 15 years and so slowed down its F-22 program, thinking that uh, we don't have to worry about this for a while. And it looks like China's saying, you know, Maybe we're, you have to worry. we're closer than you think. Ah, well, who, who knows what the, the actual truth is. Anyway. I'm sure it will come out in the days ahead. Thank you very much, Adam Horvath of The Wall Street Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and this is The Wall Street Journal Digital Network.